Okay, bit of fun with you, Cara. It's Dora Jean here from Dora Jean Creation. I created some images, photographic artwork for St. Bridget's Day and I thought I might just share them with you because it's a great story to go with St. Bridget. I love it and I thought you would too. So today is the 1st of February and it's St. Bridget's Day. So let's talk a little bit about St. Bridget. Many of us will have a St. Bridget's Day cross in our house, but where did that all come about? Well, it came about from a young girl from 451 AD in Foggart in County Louth. So let's talk a little bit about St. Bridget. St. Bridget was a symbol of protection and a source of nurturing and guidance for us. St. Bridget really does embody the qualities of love and generosity and compassion that really make her so loved in the Irish culture and beyond. And this magical tale of St. Bridget, Ireland's kind-hearted saint, where did it all come from? Well, once upon a time, in the Emerald Island of Ireland, there was a young girl named St. Bridget. She wasn't Bridget, Saint Bridget then, she was just Bridget. And she wasn't just any girl. She was someone special who would grow up to become one of Ireland's most loved saints, right up there with one of our favourite pals, Saint Patrick. And Bridget's amazing beginnings were at her very birth, of course. Bridget was born in 451 AD or thereabouts. In a place in Ireland that has a funny name and it's called Foggart. And it sounds like it's straight out of a fairy tale, doesn't it? But her dad gets even better because her dad was a big chieftain and her mum was a super kind Christian slave. And from the time that she was very little, Bridget was different. She really was. She loved to help people. And this was a really hard, these were hard times. But she loved to help people and animals and was always sharing everything that she had. Even if it was her last Rolo, I'd imagine. But did you know this story? A cloak that grew and grew. One of the most magical stories about St. Bridget is about her cloak. And once she needed land to build a special house for God, a house that is called a monastery. And she asked a king for a tiny bit of land, just a tiny bit, but he didn't want to give her any. So, St. Bridget, or Bridget as she was then, did something amazing. She spread her cloak on the ground and something amazing happened. It started to grow. And it grew and it grew and it didn't stop growing for some time. The cloak just kept growing. And with that, she was gathering land to build this wonderful monastery. The cloak had covered acres of land and the king was so surprised that he let her keep all of the land that it covered. Can you believe it? So she was able to build her monastery or the monastery that was for the house of God. Now something else you may have seen is a special cross, St. Bridget's cross. And St. Bridget is also famous for this special cross made out of straw. And she created it to explain to a sick man about God and how much God loved him. And the man felt so peaceful and happy that he heard the words of St. Bridget and he saw the beautiful cross. And when he saw it, he smiled like the sun coming out after a rainy day. Such a great big smile. And now people make these crosses and put them in their homes to remember the kindness and love and to know that God is around us. 
So for a day of celebration, we love celebration. And every year on the 1st of February in Ireland, it turns into a land of joy and springtime magic as we celebrate St. Bridget's Day. It's not just any day. It's when winter starts to say goodbye and you see those little buds of spring starting to peek out in the garden or as you're going for a walk. It's a day to remember how important it is to be kind and to share and to take care of each other, just like St. Bridget did. Now, why is St. Bridget so super special? You see, St. Bridget isn't just remembered because she did amazing things. She's remembered because she showed everyone how powerful kindness can be. So it's not just that she was kind, it's because she used kindness and showed how powerful it can be. She reminds us that sharing and caring and being brave can make the world a much brighter place. And the story of St. Bridget is about a girl who became a saint, a hero and a shining example of kindness in Ireland. Would you like to know a little brief history? Well, St. Bridget's life story went a little bit like this. This isn't a picture of St. Bridget, but we have a lovely model that shows us what St. Bridget might have looked like. So we have a grand story through love and miracles and Irish magic. And a brief story of St. Bridget's life has to start with love and miracles. So this grand story of love and miracles and Irish magic, it's a tale that weaves through the emerald landscapes. So those beautiful green landscapes of ancient Ireland and even Ireland as it is today. And a life of St. Bridget, that's like a warm flickering hearth on a misty Irish night. So it keeps us warm from from our souls outwards. So let's start our journey by casting our minds back to the mid fifth century. A time is a figure shrouded in both historical facts and legendary tales. And she was born into a household of a, a, a chieftain and a slave. And something extraordinary unfolded. Her birth marked a column of fire, a column of fire. This is stuff of legends and a blend of divine providence and earthly roots. Bridget's story began in a time when Ireland was a tapestry of pagan traditions and emerging Christian faith. So picture this. A newborn Bridget, her entrance marked by a column of fire, a celestial symphony welcoming a soul destined for greatness. These tales tell us so much about who we believe St. Bridget is and where she came from. Childhood whispers say that there was a journey that takes us to Bridget's youth, where her compassion and generosity sets her apart. Legend has it that she has a habit of giving away her father's possessions and she gave them away to the less fortunate. But this did get her into a little bit of trouble. So she was a saintly rebellion perhaps, a saintly rebel. And this trouble that got her into was more than on one occasion. There is a famous story of St. Bridget, or Bridget as she was then, giving away her father's sword to a beggar. And when her father discovered this, he was initially enraged. But he soon realised the depth of her compassion. As Bridget grew, she did the whispers of her compassionate nature into the ears of the little animals that she'd be with. She'd talk to them, she'd be kind to them and imagine a spirited child and her heart 
overflowing with generosity and giving away her father's possessions. Oh, that was naughty <laughs> to those who needed them. And it's a snapshot, though, of the magical innocence in a world in a, on a cusp of change. Remember, it was such a hard time back then. But fast forward to a pivotal moment in Bridget's adolescence. And seeking spiritual guidance, she approaches Saint Mel, a sage of ancient wisdom. And the placing of a sacred veil marks a profound shift, an initiation into a life guided by both magic and divine purpose. The double monastery of Kildare, a haven for miracles. Now close your eyes and envision the magnificent double monastery of Kildare, a bustling community of monks and nuns, which is why it was called a double monastery, where the spiritual and earthly seemingly intertwined. It's a place where miracles are not occasional wonders, but part of daily, daily rhythm and rhyme. It's like the heartbeat of a sacred land. And the story of Bridget's sale and redemption. Did you ever hear of that? There's a poignant story in Irish folklore that tells of Bridget's sale and then being bought back into the family. And she was reportedly sold and sold because her father was angry with her for giving away the sword. And they also needed the money at the same time. And she was sold to a druid. And when she was a slave, she was working for him some time, but she was so unhappy. She was unkept the way that she had previously been used to. And when her family heard of this, and heard of this as a predicament, they did their very best to buy her back. However, the druid demanded an exorbitant price for her freedom, and her weight in silver. Miraculously, the silver was provided and Bridget was brought back, illustrating the deep love and respect her family held for her because it would not have been easy for this to happen. It would not have been easy in any of these times. Bridget's healing touch. Our tale takes a turn into the realm of miracles. Picture Bridget with a smile that radiates warmth and healing, not only physical to healing of physical elements, but also the wounds of the soul. Her touch, a tapestry of compassion, reshaping the destinies of those fortunate enough to feel it made changes within people's souls. And Bridget's gift to Ireland. As Bridget's influence expands, it becomes a cultural symphony. And her feast day celebrated today, the February the 1st, isn't just a date in the calendar. It's a vibrant celebration, a harmonious blend of Christian reverence and ancient Irish traditions. It's as if the spirit of Ireland itself joins in the festivities. So it's not just us. It's what's made us that's made our celebrations happen for St. Bridget. So the joyful spirit of St. Bridget's Bridget, let's add a touch of mirth to our journey. Picture Bridget. A twinkle in her eye, engaging in a playful dance with a leprechaun. Can you imagine it? The laughter, the magical things that are going on. Oh, and the echoes through the tales and the valleys and the hills. I can just imagine it. And they're reminding us that the joy is an essential as the air we breathe. So it's not just about living. It really is about living joyfully with compassion for each other care and attention 
and with our spirits as Irish people. We can laugh and enjoy our legends in a spiritual and beautiful way. And peeking into how difficult that was, a glimpse into St. Bridget's world. Now let's take a peek into the everyday magic of St. Bridget's life and imagine the aromatic herbs and the moments of quiet reflection and the simplicity that held profound depth. A life lived in harmony with the rhythm and the rhymes of Ireland, its very soul. Because she really did have a life well lived. And as we bring our grand odyssey to a close here, let the spirit of St. Bridget linger with us here on the 1st of February. Her legacy an eternal flame, like that day she was born with the column of fire, continues to warm our hearts and inspire. And may her story remind us that in love and miracles and the magic of everyday moments, we find the true essence of a life well lived. Because St. Bridget and her life, as we now call her St. Bridget, should I say, her life was marked by acts of charity and healing and miracles and her unwavering commitment to the Christian faith. Her feast day is celebrated today, February the 1st, and which coincides with the ancient Celtic festival of of Imbolc marking the beginnings of the spring of Ireland and St. Bridget's legacy endures through the traditions and the cultural celebrations associated with her, symbolising from tradition, from the darkness of winter and the darkness perhaps of her life at the time, things weren't easy. But it brings us into the renewal of spring and hope and light and the compassion that she represented. Today, St. Bridget's Day, we wish you the very best of days with love and spirit and joy. Have a wonderful day and a wonderful life.